Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically test your HTML emails exported from Figma in Gmail on desktop and mobile using the Emailify plugin and the litmus.com platform. So all we need to do to get started is just go to your Figma file and click on the little resources icon up here. And if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, under the plugins tab, if you click on the Emailify item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and clicking save. And that's going to let you run the plugin easily from your plugins list later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm going to go to my canvas and just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then just click on the emailify item. And that's just going to run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design HTML emails in Figma that you can customize and style uh, however you like. And it provides a bunch of different design tools and starter components that you can use to do that. So I'm not gonna be going through all of those things in this tutorial. If you're new to the plugin and wanna get familiar with all the design tools and things like that, uh, I'd recommend checking out the other videos on the YouTube channel. But for today, I'm just gonna be assuming you've already got your design uh, ready to go the way that you want. And now you just wanna test that HTML in Gmail. So we're gonna do that now. And I'm gonna start by exporting this email I've got designed uh, to HTML. So I'm gonna click on export HTML in the plugin. Then I'm just gonna make sure that the upload hosted images option is selected. And then I'm gonna click on the export to HTML button up here. And that's just gonna generate this design into HTML that we can download. So I'm just gonna click on the download your zip file button down here and download that to my desktop. And if you open up the zip file and open up the folder, you'll see here that we've got our test email folder, which is the same name as our frame in Figma. And we've got our HTML file here, which is the one we're gonna be testing in Gmail. So to open that up, you can just go to your code editor or you can open up that file in a browser and view the source. But either way, you basically wanna copy all of the HTML in that exported file and you wanna put it into uh, litmus.com. So litmus.com is a platform that allows you to test your HTML emails in all different kinds of email clients, uh, including Gmail, which is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So in litmus.com, if you go to the test tab up here, and then click on the create new button over here. So click on create new. And I'm just gonna call this one uh, test Gmail example. And make sure that you click on this test button here. So you've got an option of either build or test. We're gonna click on test and then we're gonna click on bring in your email. And that's gonna allow us to enter our HTML that we just copied from the code editor. So you can basically go down here and click on view more ways to create an email. And that's gonna give you this text box here to paste your HTML. So paste your HTML in this bottom text box here. And then you can just give it a subject line. So I'm just gonna say test again. Uh, you do also have the option of sending the HTML to Litmus. So if you've already got your HTML template from Figma in MailChimp or a platform like that, you can actually copy this email address here and send a test email to Litmus from your platform. But for today, I'm just gonna be keeping it really simple and assume that you're basically gonna be testing the email directly from the Figma export. So now that we've got our HTML pasted in there, I'm just gonna click on done. And that's gonna upload this HTML block into Litmus. And it's gonna allow us to view that HTML on all different email clients to see how it renders. And in particular, I'm gonna be focusing on Gmail for today. So you can see here, it's starting to load up some of the previews. By default, Litmus, pre-selects a bunch of different popular email clients or a broad range of email clients that it uh, recommends testing on. So you're basically gonna get this set of default uh, clients the first time you run the test, but we can go ahead and actually customize that for our use case today, which is really doubling down on testing it in Gmail. So if you go ahead and click on this choose email clients button up here, and what we're gonna do is basically clear all these. So I'm just gonna click clear all gonna collapse these and just click clear all on all of them. And that's just gonna reset all of the selected email clients. And now we can go through and actually pick which ones we wanna test it on. So in this case, I'm really just interested in testing our HTML in Gmail. So what we can do is just select the Gmail option. So I can do the Gmail app, I can do Gmail with IMAP, I can do Gmail on Android 8, I can do Gmail on Android 10, I can also do dark mode. Uh, so we can basically select all the Gmail options that we wanna use. Uh, so in this case, I'm just gonna select those ones for Android on mobile. 
And then you can also go down to the iOS options. So iOS, you can also do Gmail. So I'm just gonna do Gmail app on light and dark. So I've got those two selected. And then what you can do finally is go down to web-based clients. So if you click on web-based and then scroll down to Gmail and G Suite. So we can select uh, Gmail in Chrome. We can select it on Edge, Firefox. We can do the same thing for G Suite. Uh, so we can select those. And then once you've got those selected, you can basically click on the run previews button down here. And that's gonna take the HTML that we already uploaded and it's gonna rerun that HTML through all of those Gmail options that we just selected. So it's gonna render the real Gmail apps and the real Gmail uh, web clients as they are. So these aren't emulations, these are real uh, computers that are running these behind the scenes on the litmus.com servers. And it's gonna give us an accurate look at what our HTML that we exported from Figma is gonna look like when it actually gets sent to a Gmail device or a Gmail uh, application. So you can see it's basically loading up all of these now. It can take a little while just to load them all because uh, it is quite an intensive process behind the scenes. Uh, but once it loads, it's gonna give you the option of viewing these in a larger modal. So if we click on one of these options, so I'm just gonna click this IMAP option down here, or maybe we can go the dark mode one first. So if we click on Gmail for dark mode, uh, so this is just running on Android 10. And you can see now that the preview is loaded, we can basically go through and scroll through this. So this is running on, uh, as I said, Android 10 in the Gmail app with the system in dark mode. So this is gonna give you an accurate preview of what the content's actually gonna look like when it's rendered on dark mode. So you can get a sense of what that looks like here. Uh, and then if we go back, we can also see what it looks like in uh, the web clients. So we can basically go down to Gmail for web, so we can run it in Chrome. And we can see here what that now looks like. So this is just running in Gmail on a Chrome device or a Chrome browser rather. And you can see here it's rendering the content as we'd expect. So we've got our nice uh, border radiuses there. All the text is looking really good. Images looking good. Uh, so that's overall looking really good in Gmail. Uh, and again, you can go through G Suite, you can go through all the different browsers, you can go through all the different mobile uh, apps. So we can see what it looks like on iOS, on Android, in light and dark mode, uh, et cetera. So um, yeah, we can just open up the iOS one, see how that looks. So we can see on iOS, it's looking quite good as well. It's just stacking all the content uh, as we'd expect. And you'll notice that the fonts are rendering on iOS uh, Gmail. So they're looking really good. I think we've got Inter selected in that case. Uh, some clients won't support that. So uh, ironically, the Gmail uh, web version doesn't actually actually support uh, Google Fonts, but the Gmail app on iOS uh, does actually support Google Fonts, custom Google Fonts. So uh, make of that what you will, but uh, the fonts are looking really nice on iOS. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm not gonna go through uh, every single uh, Gmail app instance and Gmail uh, web client in the litmus results, you can feel free to do that yourself in your own time. But I really just wanted to give you an example of how you can customize the litmus test to just focus on Gmail if you're testing uh, for Gmail, which is obviously a very popular email client. So you, you really wanna know what your HTML emails are gonna look like across all of the Gmail clients on desktop and mobile. Then uh, this is gonna be a really easy way of doing it, just narrowing down all the litmus clients as we went through before and uh, you'll be able to see what your HTML emails that were exported from Figma are gonna look like on all of those different Gmail clients when the HTML finally ends up in their inbox. So uh, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.